Hello students and welcome to a video explanation of how to use a Freyer model to improve and expand your vocabulary. The Freyer model is a scientifically proven way for students to become better at finding new words but also in a way to help you become more precise knowing what the word exactly means and how to use it. The Freyer model begins with picking a word and writing it in the middle of your paper or your screen. In my case, I pick the first word from the vocabulary list from the Great Debate episode 1. The word that I've chosen is conviction. I make a box around the word and then proceed to make a larger box around this one as well. which I then divide into four separate areas. This is the basics of the Freyer model. Each box represents one different part. At the top left, we have the definition of the word. In my case, I used the help of Google. I simply typed conviction, definition, and got an explanation from Oxford Dictionaries, which said that conviction is a firmly held belief or opinion. So this is a um, an official definition and if I would like to add one of my own I could also say that conviction is someone who believes strongly in something. Just in case I want to add some extra flavor. Next we go to the top right box which will cover the characteristics of the word. Characteristics um, is my way to sort of describe um, or explain what I think is, is uh, the flavor of the word itself. And when I think of conviction, and I think of the definition we have here, the firmly held belief, or opinion, I think of, for example, someone who has a unwavering, um, could be a steady approach, um, or it could be, for example, a fixed approach. So this unwavering, steady, fixed approach to an idea is what I would say is characteristic to conviction. Next, we go to the bottom left. Here, we want to give some examples. And um, when I think of conviction, I think of the uh, belief, I think of the opinion, I think of that unwavering um, way characteristic of the word. I think of, for example, someone who, let's say, um, someone who has the belief in a one true God. For example, that could be one of those cases. And here we see that I'm using the same word from the definition I use, um, believe. Make sure this looks like an F2. <laughs> uh, next, I could have someone... Um, who, let's say, has an unwavering um, opinion that eating meat is wrong. Those are two examples we could have of, of a conviction. Yet once again, 
I'm using the same words we see from the definition, but I also used one of the ca characteristics here. Lastly, we cover the bottom right box, which has what's known as non examples. And this might seem strange um, when beginning to use it, to use the Freyer model, uh, but a non example, they are meant to be um, examples that are, for example, the, the direct opposite of what conviction is. So it could be an antonym. Uh, in that case, a antonym of uh, conviction could be uncertainty, for example. Um, it could be um, something larger than that. It could be a lack of confidence. Um, or it could be to doubt. Uh, I can also expand this even further by having um, longer examples like we see in the one to the left here. I can mention someone who, um, let's say, changes their opinion um, quickly as a way to give an example of someone who does not have conviction, for example. Um, so yes, students, this is a way to use a Freyer model and you will do the same thing. So please follow these instructions. You also have them in text on the website. Um, pick a word from the vocabulary list and good luck.